Hi, it's Caitlin, and I'm here today with some new polishes from Rogue Lacquer. These will be available on the Rogue Lacquer website on July 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is a particularly gorgeous neon pink that I am very excited to be sharing with you, and um, four other new polishes part of the Summer Nights quad. And I guess that's everything you need to know. It'll be in the description if I've missed anything. So let's get into the swatches. How can I not start with this stunning hot neon pink? This one is called 25 and Older, and it is a beautiful pink created for Latanya, who is the wonderful face and personality over at Lacquer to Lashes. I will link her down in the description so you can follow her on Instagram. This is her birthday polish, and it is a neon magenta with glass blue flakes. So this one is super pigmented. It goes on beautifully. Um, it just has a fantastic formula. I love, love, love the combination of pink and these electric blue glass flakes. And they stand out so perfectly in the base. So I think it's good in two coats. You might want three depending on your polish style, but honestly, there's a lot of glass flake in there. It covers the nail line pretty well. And it does dry down a bit matte, probably because of the neon pigment. So definitely use a good glossy top coat like Cuticula Limitless, which is my personal favorite. And you can already see just how stunning this polish is. This is one of those polishes that absolutely glows. It really does look like this in real life. It is super neon, super bright. Those glass flakes are incredible. And here, as you can see in the shade, they really pop out on the nail. So this one is for all the pink lovers out there. You don't want to miss this one. Now we are moving into the Summer Nights Quad. And this one is a set of polishes inspired by Summer Nights. And this one is Night Swim, which is a vibrant blue prism polish with hollow and hollow flakes. So Rachel has been giving us a lot of these prism polishes, which is essentially a base of color with some hollow flakes. And I believe also like more linear hollow pigment. And this one is really beautiful. It definitely is sort of a oceanic type blue and it's super pigmented. So this one had really good coverage in one coat, but I would still recommend two just to get it totally perfect. Um, this one dries down a tiny bit dull, so I will recommend a glossy top coat like I always do and I wish I had a sunny day to show this off or maybe I did actually I lied I did so you're gonna get to see the hollow in all of its glory in this one so after the two coats I'm going in with cuticula limitless top coat as you can see it just kind of brightens everything up and makes it a little glossier And this one isn't too shifty of a base. I think there might be a little, it's sort of got like almost a metallic-y ness to the blue, but I'm not seeing any big color shifts when I was wearing this one, but I still wanted to show it in as many lighting situations as I could. There was sun or maybe not a lot of it. There could still be wildfire smoke, honestly. Feels like I'm living in the apocalypse. And the next polish in the Summer Nights Quad is Drive-In Movie. And this one is a deep berry prism finish polish with hollow and hollow flakes. So this one's kind of unexpected for a summer collection, but in the best way because I love wearing vampy colors in the summer. In the winter when I guess you quote unquote should wear vampier colors or when they're like trending. Um... My skin is just so pale and it looks terrible, but I tan up a tiny bit in the summer, so I find it's easier for me to wear gorgeous vampy shades, and this one is really pretty. It's very 
wine, deep sort of red grape. I really like it. And I also love drive-in movies, so I think this is a really cute polish. This one also looks like it had a bit more hollow flake compared to the last polish, so I like the distribution of hollow in here. And again, it dries down a tiny bit dull, so I will recommend a glossy top coat to bring out the shine and bring out the hollow. And again, like the other one, there's not really shimmer per se in this, or if it is, it's not like color shifting shimmer. So it pretty much looks similar in all lighting. But of course, you like it when I show off polish so you can see it in all different lighting situations. So that is what you will get. You can see in the smoky, smoke covered sun, it's still really pretty. And the hollow gives a nice twinkle. And there are two Flaky Bomb polishes in this set. The first one is Beach Bonfire, which is a clear base with pink to orange glass flakes, blue to purple to magenta, ultra chrome chameleon flakes, and hollow. Now this one is just packed with those flakes and they come out really easily on the nail. I will recommend building it up in three coats, though in hindsight, this is a polish that I would probably personally layer over something like a navy blue, just so you don't have to put as many coats on in order to get opacity. And there are a ton of different size flakes, so you might have to play around with the placement a little bit so you cover up any bald spots on your nails. And as you can see, it's like mostly covered in one coat, but I kind of just went in with this third coat to getting those little nude spots of my nail covered up with flakes or glitters or whatever I could find to do the job. So that's what you see me sort of playing around with, just wanting to get as much coverage as possible. And there were like huge flake chunks that I just sort of plopped back on the nail. Now this will not dry textured in the way glitter will, but you definitely will want some kind of top coat. I actually opted for matte top coat off the bat because I wanted to see how this would look because I felt like it would look best with a matte top coat to just sort of show off that layering of the flakes. So matte is what you're going to get today but I also showed it glossy because, you know, you just want to be able to see how a polish is going to look before you buy it. So here it is, glossy. There's a really pretty orange-red shift to those flakes, which I really, really love. It honestly is super interesting, regardless of what lighting you capture it in. It looks really cool, and I really like it. And here it is, matte. It gives it a totally different look. This one kind of made me think of like superheroes or something because it was blue and red primarily. Anyway, I will let you enjoy this one matte and I'd be curious to know in the comments if you prefer it glossy or matte. And last but not least, we have Chasing Fireflies, which features a clear base with blue to green glass flakes, purple to pink to orange ultra chrome chameleon flakes, and hollow. So this is a similar kind of flaky bomb as the last polish you saw, but different components and I would argue better. This one I really, really, really loved. And I don't see it in the description, but there's sort of something a little more iridescent looking in this one compared to the last. It could just be the quantity of it, but that is what really sets this polish apart for me. I think it is super pretty and very glowy, as you're going to see. 
So this is another one where it might take a bit of patience to build it up. You're going to want to get one coat down, probably a second coat down. And then when you go in with your third, you're just kind of filling in any gaps in your nail with the flakes that you get on your brush. You could also definitely layer this one over something darker, like a black or a navy blue or a deep purple or a white. It all depends on how you want the end product to look. But I also like seeing my nail line through this one. I think it's a pretty effect and it works well for me in my personal opinion. So this one I'm going to show you primarily glossy but also matte because I really couldn't decide how I preferred these polishes and I'm still on the fence. And if I didn't mention it already, these are loaded with flakes, but they won't be too difficult to remove. You might have to do a little cleanup after you remove them because they sometimes can get on your skin, but it's super easy with a little bit of nail polish remover. So here it is, glossy. I just showed you quickly the polish matte. But this is what I'm talking about, that incredible glow you get from those flakes I guess they're the glass flakes, but they're just super iridescent looking and honestly do capture sort of that magic of chasing fireflies. And I love the combination of all the other colors in this polish. I highly recommend this one. It's going to be no surprise that this is my top pick from the quad. I think it is absolutely stunning. And here for anyone curious and who wants to help me decide if it's glossy or matte that wins for this polish, here it is with a matte top coat. And I am using the Cuticula Cloud Cover Matte Top Coat. Obviously, I love that neon pink. It is perfect and beautiful and as vibrant as Latanya, who is the one who inspired the polish. If you haven't seen any of her live swatch videos, she's hilarious and so much fun to watch. I'll put it in the description so you can follow her. And from the quad, I love chasing fireflies, not only as an actual real life activity, but as a polish, it is so beautiful and glowy and interesting. I just really, really like that one. So let me know in the comments what you're planning on picking up and um, hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm feeling completely burnt out, but um, hopefully you're not. Hopefully you're well, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.